Hey, thank you, son. Thank you. What's new and exciting? I really am honored that you come out and see me. That's the only reason why I came. Well, I haven't seen you. I wouldn't come for Roger. I know that. <laughs> so, Al, what, what is your advice to uh, anybody else who's going to approach 90 years old? What should they be doing in preparation of being 90? Well, be careful what you do because you'll probably get caught. The older you get, the older, the older you, get you get a little slower. And you can't move quite as fast. Hey, Chief! Good to see you, old friend. God bless you. This is really a tribute and an honor for you to come out here. Well, it's an honor to be here. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. How are my boys doing? They're doing good. He got two outstanding young men. Bob, good to meet you. Bob and Donna Carlisle, Roger. Here's Mayor Roger Van Horn. He has an opinion of A.L. Mangum, and I thought we'd ask him what it was. Well, A.L. Is, is very important to me. I came to town and, and didn't know a soul and was taken under the wing of A.L. Mangum and sort of nurtured through the town and told me where to buy a house and, by the way, helped finance my business, which was good for both of us. But he always cared about it. I always call A.L. Big Daddy because, to me, uh, Big Daddy made Nacogdoches uh, grow and become prosperous and become what it was. Big Daddy took this town when it was about 12,000 people and absolutely drug it along the way and was determined to make Nacogdoches a wonderful place. And he has done that. And so my hat and all kudos go off to my dear friend, Big Daddy Mangum. He is the best.